All right, so this is just a little trail out behind our uh, tiny cabin, and uh, it takes you down to the beaver pond. So let's go have a quick look at the beaver pond. like Miss Caramel is going to join us. So in the fall this uh, trail gets a pretty heavy uh, uh, flow of traffic from the rutting bucks and the does. Uh, we've had uh, a number of other animals out here on the trail cam including fox and coyotes and raccoons and what have you. Uh, we've also got two resident moose that uh, live back near the beaver pond somewhere. Um, we've got somebody's scat there. Looks like maybe the bear. Could be. There's a mama bear and her two cubs living just past just past uh, another pond out uh, behind our back 40 there. And she's had two cubs before and sent them on their way after raising them up for two years. And now it looks like she's got a couple more this year. So we keep our food put away and make plenty of noise as we come down the trails. That seems to take care of most of the problem. Oh, a good amount of mushrooms growing away there. Mm -hmm. Looks like this trail could use a little trimming. I'll probably get in here with the machete later. A little overgrown at the moment. We don't use the trail a whole lot in the summer because the bugs down by the pond and in the deep woods here get pretty thick. So uh, this trail and this pond get a lot more use in the cooler weather. Uh, in the winter we uh, have been known to shovel off a big Olympic sized skating rink off the pond here and uh, enjoy some skating. The boys love to come down and Catch frogs down here, some snakes, that sort of thing. What have we got on the pond today? A couple of ducks there. Hey, think, Caramel? Hmm? Ooh, freshest grass in the whole place, huh? Yum. This uh, stump here, hidden in the woods, Tends to be a very sacred thing for the beavers. Uh, we had a trail cam set up down here at one point just to catch a little bit of the beavers coming and going. And uh, found that they would come and rub mud on it uh, almost every night. Uh, come up from the water with big armfuls of mud and rub it on there and then rub themselves on it. I assume it's part of their uh, keeping the scent of themselves uh, on there and keeping their pond uh, owned. So one of the plans for down here is to uh, 
build a bit of a continue this little boardwalk here that I've used pallets for and build a little bit more back through here and up over to that willow over there and uh, then build a bit of a duck blind in there because you can see maybe you can't see no not really there's a whole lot of little ducks that come along in here especially during migration we get uh, geese and and uh, all sorts in here Folks, well there it is. That's our little duck pond. Um, yeah, uh, hope you liked our little tour, uh, and we'll bring you back uh, some point in the winter when we uh, can get out there and uh, can show you the actual uh, Beaver Lodge. Um, you can see the breathe hole on the top of the Beaver Lodge pretty well in the winter when the uh, uh, when it's all iced over, and, and uh, you can see little. That warm air coming out the top from the beavers living in there, it's kind of a cool thing. And uh, we'll bring it back as well if, uh, if we ever get around to building out that, uh, that uh, duck blind. Alrighty, have a good day folks.